So one of the most powerful and influential personalities online today is Joe Rogan. And we actually can discover a secret of his success in his format. What is it? He has a video podcast. Not just a podcast that's an audio, but it's on video. So therefore he can dominate YouTube. He can chop long form content into small clips that go viral. And he can distribute that content across the internet on both video and audio platforms. And in this video, I'm actually gonna be breaking down how this is a strategy that many of today's top influencers are using to build their influence faster. And in this training, I actually reveal how you can launch a video podcast this year to grow momentum in your brand make more money and create a bigger difference in the world coming up. I really think that when it comes to doing a show going into 2020, the game is starting a video podcast or adding video to your podcast. Last night I was talking to uh, Joel and he was talking about how he actually has video of his podcast, but he hasn't published it before. And I think that even if it's just via Zoom call or via um, you know Skype, that the video element leveraging YouTube, of course, the SEO discoverability properties of YouTube, even if it's eventually going to be an audio strategy is huge. And so we mentioned uh, Niga Higa and the Off the Pill podcast. So they're starting on video and then it is distributed across platform in audio. And this, of course, gives you the opportunity then to really have top, the best top of funnel content, in my opinion. You've got some long form content on YouTube where people can consume it, even if they just consume audio. That's what I do. I'm on YouTube Red. YouTube's my favorite platform. I'll start something, put it on just autoplay. I got my Bluetooth headphones in and I listen to audio on YouTube. But then you could strip that audio and then chop the, that content into micro content. So it's a very good top of funnel strategy. This is very uh, Bass Gary V show or his. He has interview show. It's a video podcast, then can go everywhere else. Uh, some of the really good YouTube channels to study are H3H3, extremely big influence, long form video podcast with a second YouTube channel on highlights. Uh, Joe Rogan would be another great example of this. Long form conversations with interesting people, but then out of those conversations come all kinds of buzzworthy clips and those clips alone can get hundreds of thousands of views, millions of views. And so that's what uh, H3H3 is doing as well. Definitely uh, a channel worth looking at, seeing how they're doing it. Jay Shetty, again, a video podcast strategy, making sure that a camera is always on when recording the audio podcast and then distributing that across platform. Um, if this is uh, some of our stuff, if you want thinkgearguide.com. If you, uh, we have some stuff as far as gear and our top recommended gear, that's kind of our main zone of genius, uh, is helping with gear. This is, uh, Mike and Shauna Jones. They run a, um, lash company in Las Vegas and they have a couple physical lash stores, lash artists working for them, e-commerce selling lash glue and lashes online. And then they have coaching like masterminds training lash artists. And so Mike and Shauna Jones, started a video podcast and it's been huge brand lift for them. Um, pretty simple, straightforward uh, setup where they've just uh, one camera, 4K re recording resolution. They go straight through, nothing really fancy about it, but it's the only podcast in their industry that's educating like the business of the lash industry. And so they just share their wisdom, their advice, for about 25 minutes. They don't even do editing. Omar actually on our Think Media team helps them edit that. So uh, especially encouraging people in this room, I think you just put the right team around this, the right system around this. Mike and Shauna sit down once a month and uh, record those four, four episodes. They're edited really quick. They go up on YouTube. They go across the audio platforms. And it's been one of the things that has helped them scale their business in a few short years to over eight figures top line um, by, and also getting rid of a lot of their other marketing, um, that they've been paying for and just focusing on content marketing and it's been massively successful for them. And so, yeah, if you want some help with gear, I'll also be here the whole time. would love to help. So a few other things, um, before Q and a is I also think that a video podcast cross platform strategy is a great way to, um, leverage this content. This is Jay Bear, and he is kind of a um, more kind of corporate uh, social media consultant, really helps people 
uh, with word of mouth marketing. People like Doubletree, they give away the free chocolate chip cookie. People post that all over social media. It gives them all kinds of free press and marketing. And so he, um, we were hanging out the other day at Social Media Marketing World, and he recently launched a book called Talk Triggers, How to Get Your Customers Talking About Your Business. And so what he wanted to do to keep the book going and, and selling and with momentum was he wanted to launch a show. So he launched the Talk Trigger show, and um, he had the branding done. His team does it. Here's the value prop. It's seven minutes or less a week. It's one case study of a business that is having successful word of mouth marketing. And so he shares that. I believe he reads it off a teleprompter, so he writes it up as a blog first and then just reads it and then records it in his home office or wherever that little uh, avid indoorsman set is. And then he uploads that video on YouTube. Now, uh, you also think about the impact here. Of course, uh, kind of being more B2B. Not a lot of traffic, though. 81 views, but not very sexy. You know, like, is it worth doing? And of course, YouTube is a marathon and not a sprint. But the cool thing with Jay is that he set out to say, my show is actually going to be platform agnostic. So he actually uploads those episodes as well on like LinkedIn. LinkedIn, 876 views. And then they cut out micro content from those same shows. Uh, that is a highlight. That's got 1,400 views um, of that piece of micro content that is updated. They dress the ending or the intros a little bit different according to uploading it natively to LinkedIn or to YouTube. But it's the same show weekly to just impact across platform. That same show also is embedded on his website where they can um, get a lot of uh, clients and sign new clients there. And then it's also audio across all platforms, all again focused on a signature show that just goes across platform with a simple sustainable value proposition. Um, and it's been huge to not only continue to drive new business for them, but he also wanted to keep his book top of mind and continuing to sell. So video podcasts are powerful, but it's just the beginning of the journey. Because the next question is, how do you actually get views on your video podcast? And I actually have a video with the three best strategies working to get views on YouTube right now. So click or tap the screen to watch that video. You're gonna learn some strategies you probably never heard before, and you're gonna love the video. So just tap the screen, and I'll see you in that video.